Okay, well, like, you do your thing I'm gonna first. I'm gonna redo the opening. Okay. Hi, this is Cherry. I'm here in Los Angeles, California, Playa del Vista. Playa Vista. Play. I'm here in Playa Vista. Super excited about the very first Wonder Woman Tech Conference. It's all about getting diversity in technology, and I'm super excited to talk to Dallas about how she helped to organize it, is spearheading technology, and about her work. In tech. Hi Dallas. Hi Cherry, how are you? I am doing really well and I'm super excited about the hackathon and yes. technology. Yes, thank you so much for attending. Um, the Wonder Woman Tech Conference is something that kind of really formated in a short time span. So I had some early meetings um, with the controller Galperin and council member Mike Bonin here in Los Angeles. Um, already having the mayor's tech initiative in mind um, and knowing that the district that Mike Bonin represents is a huge Silicon Beach area, um, we knew that our focus for the women in this area would be to make sure that we have pathways to careers in technology for women and girls. Also, the goal is to make sure that we have technology, mobile apps, websites, and things of that nature that benefit women and girls in LA and abroad. Um, and then we have the Time Warner Media Challenge that's going on, and we hope to be able to capture um, some meaningful dialogue as well as PSAs um, that we can continue to use that's from the community, and we will have for years to come so um, yeah that is the the semesis of it but I will say the after we had our meeting with um, Ron Galperin controller Ron Galperin and uh, councilmember Mike Bonin I ran into uh, Miss Lisa May Bronson from Wonder Woman Hacks at the California Women's Conference and she was just kind of sitting there with her table and stuff and I perused by I said hi what do you do and she said well I'm with Wonder Woman Hacks and we do hackathons I said well that's great we're trying to plan a tech conference let's partner up and so that has it spun into this from there and so her and her team have done a really good job of bringing in really key um, speakers for the community today and um, we're just excited to be here here and to be working for the women and girls of Los Angeles. So um, in my capacity as commissioner on the status of women, I'm also the delegate to our national associations of commissions for women. And so we're hoping that this is something that will be a model for the other commissions in other cities nationwide to be able to get engaged their women and girls in technology. Well, I have to say I'm impressed with the attendance. There's women of all color, from Hispanic to Asian to black to white. We're all one family. How did you get some of the uh, people to attend as well as some of the tech industry leaders here in Silicon, Valley, Silicon Beach to come out today? Well, um, like I said, we, we partnered with Wonder Woman Hacks, and they spearheaded getting most of the speakers that were here. And then um, through the controller's office, council member's office, and our commission, we know women in technology, and we recommended them. Um, for instance, we had three honorees uh, last evening for our Innovator Awards reception, and that was Ms. Karen Catlin, who's a former VP of Adobe, and now she has this huge national women in technology campaign that she's launched. Um, we also had um, ooh, uh, Sylvana Colche, who is one of the largest Apple developers, um, oh, not Apple developers, but largest Apple certified product retailers in the country. And for that to be a feat of women, you know, we really need those stories to be shared. And her company is called Gravity Pro. And then our third honoree was, give me a moment. Oh, Miss Nora May Cadena, and Nora May Cadena is the, she works for Northrop Grumman, but she is also the founder of Latinas in STEM, and I connected with them um, through social media, just trying to do some initial outreach last year and saying, okay, I'm a woman in tech. I should be connecting more with this community. Sometimes you, when you're a business owner, you kind of get in your own silo and you don't always do the outreach networking because you feel like, well, I'm not in that type of technology or that. And so this event has even shown me the importance of doing that outreach. So I was able to meet with Nora May and see her honor last night and that was amazing because I can't think of three more deserving individuals. It was great listening to not only the mayor come out, but everyone else just talking about the importance of getting women. Now, 
what are the three things that you would recommend to any woman interested in getting into technology here in Los Angeles as far as maybe training or learning how to code or how to make an app? Well, there are actually quite a few programs for women in technology here. We have the Women in Technology International as a partner, Black Women in Technology, Latinas in STEM. There are a number of uh, programs. Microsoft has been here and been one of our major sponsors and partners in terms of providing game development workshops. And they have a four-hour uh, game developer class that they've been providing here. Also, General Assembly came in um, with a quick ask and said, we'll be happy to do a learning learn to code in 90 minute workshop. I said, there is no way that I'm going to miss a learn to code in 90 minute because I just want to see what you are able to pack in a 90 minute um, course. So everything has been really interesting and I think in the LA area we have a number of coding programs. It's just about getting online and doing the outreach. Um, and I would leave it at that, I think. <laughs> well, it's very exciting, and I'm super excited about STEM and the importance of getting young women into the math, into the science, and not dropping out. If you could give a message to a young girl who's in school right now, what would it be? I will look at the camera on that note. Stay there. If you are in school, stay there. You may not have your career path yet, but if you are interested in some of the technology devices and you've kind of been more up on technology than some of your friends, chances are you're a woman in tech and you're a young woman in tech and we need you. You are our future. That is where our industries are going. We are now in the information age. So you have the power and so the next 50 years are up to you and so we are are really looking forward to you growing in careers in tech. So, thank, thank you. you so much for thank talking you. with me. Thank you. This is awesome. Thank you so much, and thank you, CNN.